guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are finally going to be testing out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Now this is a foundation that's a medium to full coverage a formula and it's meant to be super, super beautiful on the skin. This is a very, very, very popular product. It's another one that I have had like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of requests from you guys to test out and review here on my channel. It's loaded with skincare. It obviously color corrects. Uh, I, am, I am all kinds of excited to try this. So what we're going to be doing is a full application demo and wear test on this product. I'm going to be wearing this one for about 14 hours today. And I, like I said, I'm really, really curious to see just how well it lasts on my oily skin type. Uh, this has been hailed as one of the most incredible products. And if that actually works out to be true, it's going to be even more awesome because obviously it's e.l.f. So it is insanely affordable. So if you are interested in seeing a full in-depth review of the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream on my oily skin type, then please keep on watching. All right, first up, let's have a little chat about the actual formula so that we know what we are in for. It is infused with skin-loving ingredients, collagen peptides and niacinamide. So obviously hydration firming, brightening, and also that niacinamide to help with breakouts. They call this one a medium to full coverage foundation with a natural finish. So even though it's going to give the coverage, it's supposed to still look really natural on the skin. It's formulated with SPF, so you're going to get a level of sun protection from it as well. Uh, they say it's a multitasking foundation with skin benefits. I'm just reading off the website here. Ditch your basic foundation. This color correcting cream is the only product you need to achieve a natural looking complexion, but with full coverage. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds really good. Now, another thing that I've heard about this formula is it's apparently a really good dupe for the It Cosmetics one. Uh, I'm not going to test them out side by side today, but if I do happen to love this formulation, I will absolutely test it side by side uh, with the It Cosmetics one for you guys. So this one does come in 20 shades and from the swatches on the website, it does look like they've got a pretty good balance of fair and deeper skin tones, which is really good to see. Packaging is very similar to the It Cosmetics one, I will say. It just comes in a tube. It is quite nice packaging. You've got a clear lid, you've got a pump at the bottom. And how much is in this? What have I got? I feel like I saw, yeah, 30 grams of product in it. So I grabbed it in shade medium 330 warm, which is apparently warm for warm skin with olive undertones. So that should match me pretty well. Let's get ahead to actually applying it. Now, according to the directions, they recommend using it in conjunction with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I'm going to apply that to half of my face so that we can get a comparison between the two sides. I do quite like this primer. It is a really, really nice one. And I do find that it is really long lasting on the skin. So just gently smoothing and pressing that in. Get a couple of pumps of this out and have a look at the formula. Okay, so it's quite a thick formula. As you can see there, it's not really going anywhere. Uh, Ooh, even if I shake it, it doesn't really budge. So yeah, definitely a thick formula. I'm going to be using one of our Pro Plus Perfecting sponges to blend this. And we will test it with a brush uh, as well, just to see, you know, what kind of difference we get in the application too. So I'm going to start pressing this into my skin. All right, so it's definitely building up the coverage quite quickly. Uh, the shade is looking maybe a little yellow although it does look like it's matching my neck and my chest um, but yeah there's definitely a lot of coverage in it we've had a real trend of foundations lately that are infused with skincare but that are actually good typically in the past there is no way I could put a foundation on my skin that was infused with skincare like being an oily skin type Oh, it just, it always ended up to be an absolute mess. But they've been coming out with a lot of lightweight formulations lately. And the skincare in them, honestly, has just been nothing but a dream. Like, they haven't been heavy. They haven't been super emollient. Um, yeah, they've worked really well. So I've not even used half of the product that I had on the back of my hand. And I have almost covered this entire side of my face. Like I've gotten about a medium coverage out of this, I think. And I really don't even necessarily feel the need to build it up. I feel like it's really color corrected. The redness has been canceled out. You can still see a little bit of redness poking through this little guy <laughs> on the side of my nose. But all the darkness and all the other areas of redness and discoloration on my skin 
um, yeah, it's it's covered them really well. It's definitely a little tacky on the skin. I absolutely, obviously I have to powder down every foundation, but I absolutely, uh, with my skin type, would be needing to powder this one down because it is sort of like a thicker, heavier, more hydrating formula. But yeah, overall with a sponge and on top of the e.l.f. primer, it looks beautiful on the skin. Let's move on to this side and I'm going to have a go at uh, applying it with our Lux Foundation brush. Oh, okay. It looks beautiful with a brush as well. I do actually think it blends a little bit faster with a brush too. Like you can really sort of stipple it into the skin. Let's swap back to a sponge on this side and just see if we get a difference in application. I feel like without the primer, it doesn't go as far. So uh, that's something worthy to note for sure. But also not surprising because we know that that is what a primer does. It helps the foundation go further blend easier and look nicer on the skin. Yeah, I'm going to say I like the application with both a sponge and a foundation brush. I do think it's just as smooth and flawless and I'm not really seeing a huge difference in the texture on my skin on the side where I applied that e.l.f. primer first in comparison to the side that I didn't. Um, yeah, it hasn't really set down. It still feels tacky on the skin, but I do think that my skin does look really healthy and it certainly has given me a lot of coverage. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see it really nice and close. So this is what my skin is looking like. I do feel like it's definitely helped to minimize the appearance of my pores. I don't feel like it's necessarily, you know, like sitting in the pores and causing texture and like settling there. I do think it still looks really nice and smooth. I've definitely got like a healthy kind of a glow to the skin. Not getting any settling into any of the lines on my forehead here and then this side without the primer it just looks really it, it looks quite healthy and glowy on the skin I will say I am feeling a little bit sticky uh, it's it's definitely like a heavier sort of more emollient formula um, than I would typically reach for just because I am oily but we're not really gonna know exactly until it's all powdered down and how I'm feeling then but I will say, yeah, on the skin now, it, it just looks really, really pretty. Certainly for a formulation that's so affordable too. Um, yeah, I'm impressed with the coverage, definitely. So what I'm going to quickly do now is I'll jump off camera and finish the rest of my makeup. So I'll conceal just a little bit underneath my eyes because I don't really need too much extra coverage anywhere else. Powder, bronzer, blush, put a little bit of mascara on and some brows. And then I'll be back to show you what my skin is looking and feeling like then. All right, so the rest of my makeup is on. And I have to say, I have already been wearing it for about one hour. I've been messing around and... <laughs> doing other things. <laughs> so this is what the skin is looking like. I have to say guys, now that it is powdered down, it is looking absolutely beautiful. Uh, it powdered down really, really well. Like I said, I added a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and also just on the end of my nose, but I've powdered it all down. I will link all of the products that I used in the description bar down below for you guys, but powdered it down, blush, uh, bronzer, brows, I've done my eyes. Um, it just, it honestly looks stunning. The coverage is really, really good. Everything is covered. Uh, I didn't notice any of the foundation sort of rubbing off or fading as I was applying the other products on top. Like it stayed holding uh, its place really, really well. And now that it's powdered down, it just looks so incredibly smooth and flawless. It doesn't feel tacky, obviously now again, powdered down. Um, and now that that tacky kind of a feeling like that was almost, almost a little bit sticky, I guess would be the way to describe it. Uh, but now that that's gone, it doesn't feel heavy at all. And it actually feels quite lightweight on the skin now, which I'm really happy about. Initially I was like, oh, this is feeling like a little bit heavy. I, I think it looks amazing. Pores are totally blurred. Um, yeah, it's looking really, really pretty. I'll zoom you guys in. So here is a side with that e.l.f. primer applied first. I, yeah, I, I just think that it looks beautiful, really lightweight. Like I said, we don't have any creasing or caking or separating. There is no creasing up on my forehead yet. And then this is the side with no primer. I have to say, look, my pores might be slightly more blurred on this side, maybe. I can't really see a huge difference between the two sides. So I don't think that you necessarily need the putty primer um, yeah, to, to be able to wear this one. I probably myself would prefer in future to go with a really good mattifying primer with this formula. Um, just because it was sticky, like I'm curious to see how it wears, but yeah, I'm not noticing a huge difference in texture on both sides of my face. So far, 
I'm impressed and I'm a lot more impressed now that it is powdered down than I was when I originally applied it. Oh and I took some flash photos as well and the flashback is like negligible like it's a hardly there which is interesting seeing that uh, this formula is an SPF 30. Um, yeah I I'm really happy so far so what I'm gonna do is start the wear test so I'll see you guys we're already an hour down so I'll probably see you in about five hours um, and we'll check on my skin then. Honestly feels and looks incredible. I'm, I'm really, really happy. All right, so it's been another five hours since you last saw me, guys. I'm looking at my skin in the mirror in front of me. And I literally cannot believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> this looks freshly applied. Like, literally, this looks no different to how my skin looked when I was here on camera five hours ago. It is now 10 past three in the afternoon. What is happening here? And it's kind of shocking because like I said, when I originally applied this, I was like, oh, it's feeling kind of sticky. I don't know. Um, once the powder went on and I did use our velvet finishing powder uh, to powder this down today, but once the powder went on, it's like it somehow made it feel lightweight. I cannot believe it. This is an affordable drugstore product. Like guys, this is e.l.f. <laughs> I kind of expected this to be a formulation that would look nice on maybe dry skin or normal skin, like skin types that don't typically have any issues. Like my skin is slightly problematic and not that easy to keep happy. This looks flawless. So we've got minimal to pretty much no shine. That's the first thing that's freaking me out. Like my skin does not look shiny at all. We've got no caking. We've got no separation. We've got no creasing or settling anywhere. Uh, none of the product has transferred off or anything. Uh, <sighs> Am I, I, am I being punked? Like wh what? <laughs> you guys, this looks literally beautiful on my skin. It's so glowy and healthy. It definitely looks natural, but then it's also got a quality of uh, like a filter to it almost. Like I, I feel like my skin has got a filter on it. It looks so smooth. My pores look so minimized. I can't, I look. I, I'm, I'm honestly speechless. Like, I don't know what else to tell you guys. It looks so good on the skin. I did not expect it to look this good. <laughs> like, I haven't looked in a mirror, you know, all day since I originally applied it. I expected to come upstairs and sit down and turn the lights on and be like, oh, it doesn't look good at all. Yeah, this, this is genuinely shocking. And it just feels so ridiculously lightweight. Which is weird because it really did feel sticky when I first applied it. I can't believe this. Like, look at my skin. It looks perfect. Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments what you think so far. I'm... Yeah, there, there are honestly no words. Like, I just think it looks amazing. So... For six hours. So it's a total of six hours of wear now. Elf. We see you. And I, I, I'm i also understanding the hundreds of requests that I have had to test this now too. So far, I like a lot. So yeah, um, I'll be back in another six hours. And honestly, if, if it still looks like this, I'm probably going to do a backflip because <laughs> it's honestly shocking. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys tonight. All right, guys, so I am back with my final check-in. It is officially 8.48 p.m., so nearly 9 o'clock. I have had this foundation on for another six hours, you guys. I cannot believe my skin. I cannot believe my skin. Now, I just want to say, uh, in addition, I've been for a bike ride. I got sweaty. I've done exercise. I then put on a face mask to go into the supermarket whilst sweaty. Um, I've lost a little, like, and when I say a little bit, like the tiniest amount of foundation off my nose are where the mask was touching my nose. And I haven't touched it up because I wanted you guys to actually see just how well this has lasted. I, just, I cannot believe how matte my skin is. <laughs> this this is crazy, you guys. This foundation has literally held up better 
than like any other that I have tried in a really, really long time. Now, I just want to say we've had some pretty good foundation tests over the like, I don't know, the last six months. We've had some some successes, but not to the level of this. I am completely shocked at the results. Like this is insane. Other than the foundation, like a little bit of the foundation missing off my nose. And I have got a tiny little bit missing just underneath my lips here. I was eating a huge corn cob for dinner and like my bottom lip, I think like it was a rubbing, like sort of down there while I was doing it. So I have got a little bit of transfer there, but the rest of my face literally looks impeccable. I can't believe it. We've just finished watching a movie. We just watched the last Maze Runner. I feel super disappointed in that they found the cure and they didn't use it like what is happening what what <laughs> my my brain can't get past that but let's zoom in so that you can see everything that's going on here this is like some kind of houdini magic like look at my skin you guys this should be melting off my face i should be so shiny so oily uh it looks fresh as anything and my skin still looks so nice. I don't know how ALF have managed to pull this formula off. Like this is literally one of the nicest, longest lasting formulations that I have tried on my skin uh, in a really, really long time. Like I am shook at how good this looks. So have a little look at my nose. You'll see what I mean by... Um, there's just the tiniest, littlest, tiniest bit missing there where I was wearing that face mask and a little bit on that side too. Like I said, I was quite sweaty. Like we rode our bikes down to the supermarket. It was about, I feel like it was 16 kilometers round trip. So yeah, I, I had been working pretty hard and then I put the face mask on my sweaty skin. So that has probably helped contribute to the transfer there. Um, but honestly, like I even touched my face it's not sticky. It's not greasy. It is so ridiculously matte. Even on like the sides of my nose, there's a little bit of shine, but that should be way, way, way shinier than it is. We've got pretty much no caking, pretty much no separation. The pores, you know, the enlarged pores on my cheeks here are still looking really smooth, really minimized. Still no settling into those lines that I do get on my forehead up there. No settling into my smile lines. Uh, overall, it still looks ridiculously airbrushed, ridiculously smooth. I... You guys, this is probably one of the biggest shocks from a formula I've had in a really, really long time. Like, it just looks so good. And I've had it on, well, it'll be, it'll be just over 12 hours. 12 hours? Elf, what is happening? <laughs> so I think it's pretty clear, you guys. This formula gets two thumbs up, three thumbs up. If I could thumbs up with my feet, with my toes, I literally would. This stuff is phenomenal. Super perfecting on the skin, super lightweight. It looks really perfecting, but also really natural. It doesn't transfer off easily and it controls shine. Somehow, even though it's loaded with skincare ingredients, nothing about this formula promised that it would stay matte, promised that it would control shine, promised that it would stay looking on the skin like this. Like this is shocking, um, but it just works so, so well. I absolutely love this. If you have been on the fence about picking this one up, a thousand percent, you guys, check it out. It's not often that I'm speechless like this and I'm like genuinely speechless right now. Um, this stuff is amazing. I would love to know in the comments, have you had a similar experience with this product? How did it go on your skin? What kind of skin type have you got? But I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that this review was helpful. Obviously, I will be continuing to wear it. I will test it with different primers. I will test it uh, under different conditions. Although I do feel like today it's been tested fairly rigorously. I'll update you on whether or not it broke me out. Anything like that, I'll absolutely be updating in future. But for a first impression, 10 out of 10, literally. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> all right, guys, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you all in my next one. I'll talk to you soon.